<clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, pleased to be joined by Reed Blake Thomas of Brighton Football. How's it going? It's going good. How are you, Casey? Doing well. So, um, you know, coming off a uh, coming off a season that had a lot of ups and a lot of downs, but uh, you guys got through it. And uh, um, in a year where a lot of you know, year where a lot of things, a lot of crazy things happened, uh, still ended up making the playoffs and stuff. Uh, obviously, not the way you wanted it to end, but still a pretty good year for you guys. Yeah, man. I mean, we came, we uh, overcame a lot of adversity, and I'm just really proud of the guys. I mean, I'm proud of what we did. Yeah. To to I know you've had a lot of uh, I know you know uh, I know this season was not easy and you know, especially starting one and three and uh, to come back the way that you did and somehow and somehow some way you guys you guys found a way to make the playoffs. What was that like just to just to get there to know that you know after after all the things that happened that year what was it just like to uh, to get back there again? Yeah, I mean, all year, even when we were one and three, um, the work and the effort was always there. I mean, we were we were a playoff team all along, even when we were one and three. Um, just some games weren't going our way. Couldn't um we just couldn't get um games in the right column. And we we ended up having our work pay off and um we just worked really hard and got into the playoffs. So going into going into you know this season, what were really some of the uh, some of the things that you wanted to uh, you wanted to accomplish uh, this year, and you know just some of the uh, some of the things that you worked on um, in the in the summer. Yeah, I think um, main thing was just like speed and agility and just getting to the football. That was my main priority, uh, and I feel like I did that really well. Also, just learning learning the whole defensive scheme because this was my first year playing linebacker. So uh, me and the coaches worked a lot in that, in the off season. And I really just tried to execute that to the best of my ability this year. So, yeah, well, yeah. Going back to that, forgot you, uh, you had to move positions yeah. uh, season. What was, uh, what was that like for you? Yeah, it was a change, but I always felt like I was really a linebacker instead of a D lineman. And I was just really happy with, um, being moved to linebacker and I was just I just absorbed all the knowledge um, that I could learn from like Luke Whitaker and stuff like that and uh, just learning from the coaches and I adapted really well yeah um, best moment from this season uh, probably making playoffs I mean that went over forts and we were down at halftime uh, but we, we pulled out the W and that felt really good the bus ride home definitely felt really good yeah um to you know how do you just you know handle some of you know really some of the tough times and you know getting you know getting down after some you, I know you guys had some pretty hard losses this year just what, what was it just like to overcome all those and you know to get there yeah you just gotta have faith in all the work that you put in and uh what you're gonna get out of it I mean we came to practice every day and I felt like we all believed in each other uh, and we all wanted a common result was to get to the playoffs and keep winning. So you just had to have faith in that. How do you, how would someone describe you on the football field? I think I'm very aggressive. I play with a lot of tenacity uh, and I just play with a passion. Yeah. Um, you know, this, uh, you know, let's talk about this off season coming up for you. I know, uh, you know, the next few weeks are, you know, what, what are you looking to accomplish, you know, in the, ne in the next few months as, uh, you know, as you, uh, as you get ready, what's, uh, what's on the plan for Reed this, uh, this winter? Yeah, I'm definitely lifting a lot of weights. Uh, I have a good, uh, diet that I'm following really strictly and I'm going to be working with impact sports to get faster and more agile and things like that. Okay. All right. Okay, now you get to set some goals for yourself. Name three. What are three things that you're going to do this uh, um, that you want to accomplish this offseason? I want to get up to 230 pounds uh, by by the start of the season, by August. Uh, I want to get my 40-yard dash in the four sixes. And oh, what's another thing? I want to I want to. I want to try to build more of a camaraderie with the with the team this offseason, especially at lifts and the Sunday lifts that we do. And we're going to start up the uh, few times a week morning lifts. So I just want to build a stronger bond with my boys. Yeah. 
to know that you're also going to be just say, here's the thing once uh you know you're going to be a senior next uh next time we roll into the season uh when august rolls around what's uh what's that going to be like for you knowing that you only have one more shot at this it's kind of unreal man i feel like it just went by really fast now i'm in my senior season it's like hold on a minute man like where did all the time go you know but um I see it as an opportunity to be a leader and uh, just show everyone around me that I have what it takes to get it done. And I want to bring everyone else up and uh, have a really successful season. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, what was, uh, what's the, I know you've had, I know you've had some time to reflect back on this year. Just um, what was, um, what were some of the things that you thought back on just, you know, with this past season? I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm really proud of what I did for, um, you know, being first year at linebacker. I feel like I did really well, and I just want to continue to get better. Yeah. So. Um, so, all right. And then uh, and then last thing um, is I know you've been uh, you've been pretty busy with, uh, with all the things that you've been doing and just, just kind of talk about like just this uh, – this winter just juggling everything with, you know, with football and obviously, you know, with you know, with school and, you know, the recruiting process and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot going on at once, but um, first main priority is school. Yeah. Um, I'm really trying to get a good GPA and keep it that way. So that's my first priority. Um, I'm really just looking to get bigger lifting and all the like all the schools are recruiting. I feel like that that will just come naturally, and I feel like I don't really have to worry about that too much. I feel like it's all under control. So I just want to focus on school, getting bigger, faster, stronger. All right. Well, Reed, thanks so much for the time. As always, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it.